Hello guys, in this video I want to give super short proof that limit of negative 1 to the n when n approaches to the infinity doesn't converge. And I'm going to use uh, in this proof uh, the uh, regular definition that some sequence converges. So let's recover that definition. So we're saying that if we're given sequence xn, so uh, we're given a sequence xn, and we're saying that this sequence xn converges to some value a where n uh, goes to infinity, or in other words, we're saying that limit of xn uh, equals to a where n goes to the infinity. This is equivalent to say that for any epsilon bigger than zero, there is exists some natural uh, number n such that if you're going to take any n bigger than n, then we know that the, diff the absolute value of difference between xn and a is less than epsilon. So we're saying xn minus a is less than epsilon. Okay, and what is xn in our case? xn in our case is uh, negative 1 to the power of n. So what I'm assuming? I'm assuming I'm proving by contradiction. And I'm going here to use my favorite sign, uh, proof by contradiction. So I'm assuming that this limit exists. So in other terms, this limit converges. So I'm saying that let's limit of negative 1 to the n when n approaches to the infinity equals to a. It means it converges according to our definition. And then I'm going to get a contradiction. And then I want to get a contradiction. So what we are doing next? Uh, let's take epsilon equals 1 over 3. Yeah. And we can see if we're going to take sufficiently large n, then xn minus a absolute value less than epsilon. So what we can do, we can consider two terms, xn plus 1 minus x to the n. And then you can ask uh, what we should do next. But here we're going to do a small trick. We're going to add, subtract a and add a, our limit. So we're going to have xn plus 1 minus a plus a minus xn. Here I'm going to group these terms and then I'm going to use triangle inequality. So in other words, I will get uh, xn plus 1 minus a plus, plus uh, a minus xn. But we know that if we take this epsilon and it means there exists some natural n such that uh, for sufficiently big small n each of this term is less than epsilon. So from here we'll get that according to our definition. From here we'll get the first term is less than epsilon and the second term is less than epsilon. So the difference between two consecutive terms is strictly less than two epsilon. In total. Okay, it's from one side. Uh, let's do this from other side. And from other side, let's find what is xn plus 1 minus xn. From here follows that uh, xn plus 1 is just minus 1 to the n plus 1 minus minus 1 to the n. Okay, and what should we do next? Here I, I can see I have n plus 1. So I can write this is equals to minus 1 to the n minus 1 minus minus to the n and here I can see I have minus uh, negative negative 1 to the n and I have the same term so in total I have negative 2 minus 1 to the n absolute value and the whole thing because it's uh, under absolute value the whole thing is going to be equals to 2 okay and let's connect uh, all pieces in our puzzle so we have 2 and we following this inequality is strictly less than 2 epsilon. Why? Because we have that uh, 2 equals xn plus 1 minus xn strictly less than 2 epsilon. And from here I will get that uh, 2 minus 2 epsilon. I'm going to divide by 2, I will get minus, uh, 1 less than epsilon. But what is our epsilon? We took epsilon equal to one third. So we get epsilon equals one third. And this is our 
and here's our desired contradiction. We got that 1 is strictly less than 1 third. And this is definitely a contradiction. So, uh, our assumption that uh, this limit exists uh, is false. So, original statement that this limit doesn't converge or doesn't exist is true. And our proof is done. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, just let me know. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and thumbs up. Thank you.